hello developers welcome back to stone stack if you have ever wanted to connect your own backend services with the chatbot then this video is the perfect starting point for you today we are going to build an mcp server sort for the model context protocol server right on your local machine and i will show you how to do it in the easiest way possible in this video i am going to cover how to set up a basic MCP server using a simple console application and how to add a dummy eco method to act as a enabler just to test the communication I have created a uh, dummy method and finally how to connect this server to the Gemini code assist inside your BS code I will be using C sharp with .NET but don't worry if your stack is different Anthropic has provided the sample SDKs in multiple languages. You can easily follow with that. Right, let's begin by creating a simple console application. I am using the .NET new console command. You can go in this MCP server name as a MCP server eco and this will act as a base of our MCP server. I am going to use the Microsoft, one of the Microsoft blog to set up this MCP server. I will also provide you the link for the same. So here if you will notice they have provided you with some sample uh, samples and they have also provided you with the uh, standard messages which will be going uh, which will be the part of this MCP uh, protocol. So if you will notice here they have provided a sample program.cs code so we will just copy it and replace it with our program.cs code. Right now we are getting some errors due to some missing packages. So to use the uh, MCP tool type and uh, these things we need to install the Microsoft uh, sorry MCP package uh, provided from the Anthropic and also the extension hosting. So first we will install the package from the given command on the uh, blog page. So once it is installed we will install the model context protocol pre-release package. So uh, this is the main package uh, which is responsible for developing the MCP server. Let's uh, walk through the server setup code. So we are using uh, host.create application builder, a uh, modern .NET way to build a hosted service. Next we will configure the uh, console login. Now here is the magic. We are uh, uh, like adding the MCP server services to the DI container using the add MCP server method. And if you will notice this method is provided from the model context protocol. In simple words this add MCP server method registers the MCP logic. And this with stdio server transport method this is used to listen via the standard input output protocol. So as it is mentioned in the description as well and lastly uh, with tools from assembly it is it is used to auto load the tools from this code file. We will build this host and run asynchronously using run async command. Now for adding the MCP tool uh, you need to use this MCP tool type attribute which is also provided in this my uh, model context protocol package. So uh, this is a static class named as eco tool and decorated as MCP server tool type. And here there is a very uh, dummy method which will just print the message appending with the hello message. So now just uh, we will run the inspector tool for model context protocol using this command. Uh, I will post this command as well. So, so once this tool is run it will be open in the browser. So here you can select the command which you want to run. So this is a .NET project. So I am giving it as a .NET run command. And once you will click on this, uh, it should be working. But okay. So it has given me the error. So I forgot to save the program.cs file and uh, rebuild it. So I just build it and then again started the uh, MCP inspector tool. And from the given link, I have browsed it and now again try to connect it. So, if you will notice here, uh, uh, it is connecting with the uh, backend, and uh, once it will successful, you will be able to see these kind of messages and uh, this connected indicator on the screen. So, uh, 
now uh, this tool is very useful for the debugging purpose so as you can see here uh, it will show you the history of this uh, mcp server so first the, as i have shown you the message in the initial page so this is the first message for initialization which has been uh, like triggered once we have cl clicked on the connect now if i clicked on the list tool you will see there is a new uh, command which was executed and it has listed the tool the description which we have given in the code it is same exact same and the tool name is provided as echo so so see here so the this is how you can uh, provide the description for your tool using this uh, uh, mcp uh, server tool uh, decorator and that description uh, property and attribute so now just uh, we will select the eco tool from the middle pane and uh, after clicking on the tool uh, if we will type a message so i am giving it as a stoner stack so uh, so our tool is just doing appending the hello uh, into the message so as soon as i clicked uh, on the run tool so it made the call with the argument as message as a stoner stack and if you will notice on the left pin i am also getting the debugging tool uh, messages so these all are info messages uh, just the color coding is weird if you will click on this debug guide uh, link you will be redirected here and here you will see like under the debugging tool sections mcp inspector is one of the tool so uh, it is you, it, you can use it for debugging so if you will notice there is a ping tool uh, as well on the top uh, so uh, if you will click on the ping what will happen is like it it is it is kind of the health check for your mcp server so let's check the response the response is empty so it's just uh, checking if uh, your server is up or not so coming back to the gemini uh, uh, Gemini uh, configuration so first of all you need to have the Gemini code assist installed in agent mode uh, to integrate with Gemini code assist or uh, for that uh, you I have already created a, a separate video you can go and watch this I will add the link in the description and uh, <coughs> also I have provided you how you we, we can add this MCP servers in the setting.json file in that file so the only difference is, is uh, instead of the server send event url which we have done in previous project uh, video uh, we need to provide the full path of the project so what it will do when this uh, server will start it will uh, execute this dot run command on this project so that the server uh, the hosting service will start for the mcp and it can communicate to that so uh, if you are not using .NET then you can uh, change this command from uh, like .NET run to npx command or something else so that's up to you so uh, also uh, I have already installed the Gemini CLI uh, for that also there is a separate video sorry guys uh, and uh, uh, if you will type the Gemini from the terminals, Gemini CLI will invoke. Now you can check if there is MCP server connected or not. So it has given you the eco tool, so it is connected. And once this setting uh, all configuration is done, um, just uh, like you need to restart your Visual Studio. Once it will be started, and then uh, if you will check, you will get that eco. Uh, tool is also available there now if you will give the command in the agent mode to the google gemini code assist it will return you the data so uh, if you uh, as you can see on the screen it is provided me hello asutos and uh, also uh, i have also created one video uh, with the integration with the copilot uh, that also you can uh, watch for the same project I only explained the integration that so if you will notice uh, these tools are asking for the permissions because I have not disabled these settings so, so that's all for this video I think we have connected our MCP server to BS code using Gemini CLI and Gemini code assist also in next video we will be connecting uh, web API with this MCP server thank you guys